Hi, welcome back to week three. Again, I'm Jay LaTulip. Today, we're gonna to go ahead and start working on page 12, Walking the Bases. So let's get our hands lined up on the white keys. If you notice, you, either thumb can play that middle C, and then the rest of the fingers come out from there. So we're gonna start off, it says left hand, so we'll let our left hand play that note. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play our C, B, A, G. Okay, so play along with me now without the recording. One, two, ready, go. Take the repeat. Now if you notice, it says optional, play one octave lower. So instead of playing here at middle C, we can play down here if we'd like, because that's gonna be more like a bass tone. Okay? Now, if you need more practice without the CD, just go ahead and rewind that and play with that a few times before you move on to the CD. But if you're ready to move on to the CD, let's do that now. We're gonna do the slow version, track 12. All right, let's definitely play that one again. And we'll do it one more time on this recording, but if you need more, you can always just hit rewind, go back and play it again with me. Okay, here goes. All right, let's move on to Yankee Doodle. We're gonna have our hands in the same position. And what we're gonna do this time is start with the right hand. We're gonna do it without the recording. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, good job. If you need more practice on that, feel free to do it with, you know, stop the video and practice it on your own or rewind and practice with me. Let's do it with the slower version though. Uh, if you're able to do it, let's do it now. Track 14.
let's do that one again. Let's move back and review the, the, the notes. Remember we have A between the three black notes. Play a couple A's. Here we go. Ready? Go. We can go lower too. All right. And let's go ahead and do B's. We'll go up and then we'll start from the middle and go down again. Ready for the B's. One, two, Ready, go. And we'll go down. And let's do the C's. Ready, go. And let's go down. Find the D's in the doghouse. Ready, go. And let's go down. And let's find your E's. Here we go. And E's down. Let's find your F's. Here we go. And go down. And finally G. It's in between the three black notes, the lower one. Here we go. And go down. All right, take your time to study those and, and look through the book and make sure you read through it and understand everything because it's really important to know those keys. Let's move on to Old MacDonald Had a Farm. We're gonna stay with the slower version this week and we're just gonna play it once. And eh, maybe we'll play it twice. Two, three, four. Cutting that ending a little short so we can get our practice session through. What we're going to do is do it one more time to get a little extra practice. Let's move on and do Mary Had a Little Lamb, but let's do the fast version. One, two, three, four. time, instead of having you practice the improvisation with the recording, I'm going to play a background on the improvisation and I want you to play any black key that you want. You can use the three or the two, groups of three or two. And I'm going to go ahead and play along. You just play. What I'm going to suggest is that you try to find what are called phrases. And phrases are breath points. Usually after four measures, that's where a phrase ends. You don't have to end your phrase there, but make sure that you breathe. You play a little bit, you take a breath, just like you would when you're speaking. Okay, here we go.
All right. I'm sure you did a good job. You can rewind that and play that a few times if you want. There are no right or wrong ways of playing that. Just stick with your black keys and you're gonna be safe. All right, let's do jamming and let's get started one time through, fast version on each. Let's get started. Six, track three. Let's get started. Faster version. One, two, three, four. <laughs> The nice thing about uh, having it on a video is that you can re rewind it and you can play it a few times if you need to. Um, but you know, if, you, if you're good on that, it's all set. We're gonna do one more thing, which is Louie Louie. We're gonna try it four times in a row. We've got C, F, and G, okay? I'll demonstrate one time. All right, we're gonna go a little faster than that now this week. One, two, three, four. All right, if you have um, a digital piano or an electric keyboard, you can change your sound. I just changed the sound to jazz organ. Experiment a little bit and see if you have sounds that you like. Let's play it with that. All right, one more time. We're gonna do it four times through. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> As always, if your teacher has given you other songs to practice and theory assignments, go ahead and do those now. And good job and keep practicing. Thanks. <laughs>